Jervis. I swear to God, I saw you dead and buried. Yeah, I heard folks in Savannah like ghost stories. But do you actually think a man can rise from his grave? I'm not a ghost. Get away! I can prove it. You can't! No! <laughs> Did a dead man do that? I'm not Travis. You kiss just like him. I didn't mean to take advantage. I had to prove I'm flesh and blood. I'm Travis's brother, Nick. Travis never mentioned a brother. We only met once right before he died. You're beautiful, but I had no idea. Travis told you about me. Although I thought he said you were blonde. Well, I have never been blonde today in my life. I was sure he said his wife was blonde. I'm not his wife. Are she Reese Peterson? No. I'm Peyton, her roommate. Well, then how did you get to be such an expert on how my brother kisses? I kissed him at the wedding. I see. What are you doing here? I came here to meet my in-laws. Where's Reese? Well, she's at work. I I'll take you there. Reese is sure as hell not gonna believe this one. Does this mean I have to kiss another beautiful woman? Drugs inside that bag. Uh -huh. It's the truth. Uh -huh. Dean! Dean! Yeah, right back. What's going on? We got a tip about a locker full of methamphetamine at the bus station. She picked up the drugs. I picked up a bag. I had no idea there were drugs inside then it. Then why were you picking up the bag? I want to make a phone call. After you're booked. Let's Will you go. call Lane and tell her what happened? I can't. I'm not asking you to do anything illegal, Dean. I don't know where Lane is. No one does. She's been kidnapped. What? Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about, Lane? Hey, got the results on that license plate number. Who's is it? Your ex-partner, Jack Buchanan. Son of a bitch. Uh-huh. I put out an APB on the car. OK. Luck tracking that car, boys. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Where are we going? Get another car. What are you gonna do with me? Not a hell of I know. I didn't want you in the first place. I wanted a kid. <laughs> Why? Oh, make that snitch Dean Collins suffer for the rest of his life. Kid to grow up idolizing me, calling me dad instead of your backstabbing boyfriend, but you had to stick your nose in it because it's just like a woman to screw something up. Okay, just let me go, okay? I won't say anything. Right. Please, I don't Shut care. up! All right, look, there's a house down there with a car we can steal. And you even breathe loud, and I'll snap your neck like a twig. You understand me? You got that? Yeah. Come on.
call. I don't answer, people will begin to worry. No one worries about you, Edward. Could be my campaign headquarters. Oh, that's right. The people you pay to care about you care about you. I promise. I will act completely normal. Move away from that phone or I promise you will be completely shot. What's the matter with you? You could have killed me! I was trying to. Lucky for you, I'm a bad shot. You're crazy. It's not nice to call people names. Yeah. But you used to be better mannered yourself. I was paid to have good manners. I answered your phone. I wrote your thank you notes. I planned your fancy parties. You never had to lift your finger. You should have treated me better. Well, you're never going to get away with a second murder. You know that. Who says I care about getting away with it? I am just trying to decide where to shoot you. Well, why don't you just pick an area that's free of any major arteries? <gasps> oh, Edward, really? I mean, I have to pick which room to do it in. I would hate to get blood all over this carpet. You worried about the carpet? Well, someone has to clean up around here. I mean, you have no idea what it takes to keep this house in order. Now, let's see, uh... You're nuts. No, the bathroom won't do. You crazy The woman. bullet might chip a tile. I'll tell you what. Why don't you make me a cup of coffee while I think this over? Nice place. Thank you. Oh, you own it? I'm a partner. Yeah, what does Reese do? She's a partner, too. Man, you must take the money home in a wheelbarrow. Hey, you see? Ho, 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 ho. Who are you? Uh, this is Nick Corelli, Travis's brother. Kidding. Hey, I was surprised, too. Hey, Reese is on the phone for you. Reese, where are you? Oh, this is a joke, right? Uh, okay. All right, Sugar, hang tight. Well, I'll be. Where is she? Reese has been arrested. For what? Possession of narcotics. Narcotics? <laughs> oh, my brother's wife's a drug addict? I don't know what to tell you. This is a horrible mistake. Look. I guess you'll have to meet Reese some other time. I'll take a cab to my hotel. Yeah. <sighs> Looks like Savannah's golden girl has lost some of her glitter. your own death. You really ought to leave town. I'm Nick Corelli. Okay, Nick, where's the Centurion? I don't know what the Centurion is. You better start remembering, but you're gonna meet your second untimely death. And this time, this time you're gonna stay dead. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Are you here? 
Closet's been cleaned out. No clothes anywhere. But he knew I was coming. doing here? I guess you thought I'd be in jail, right? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about the drugs that you put in the bus station locker you sent me to. Drugs? I put pictures of Edward in there. The hell you did, Veronica? Well, then you went to the wrong locker. No, I know what you did. Tom, you... you... planted the dope, you tipped off the cops, it would have worked except for one small hitch. I didn't go to the bus station. I gave the locker key to your sugar daddy's daughter. Louise? That's right, and now she's in jail because of you. The police arrested Reese? Wait till Edward Burton finds out what you've done this time. What I've done? Why the hell did you give Reese a key to that she locker? She overheard the conversation about the photograph. She was upset. Then what do you care? You hate the man. I hate him, not her. You always said you wanted his entire family to suffer. Oh, you've fallen in love with her. You fool. She doesn't get off. You're the one that's gonna suffer. Oh, oh Brian! Hey, I came as soon as I got your message. I didn't know who else to call. I cannot believe that Reese is in this kind of trouble. What happened? I don't know. They won't let anyone but her attorney talk to her this late at night. All right, well, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. OK. But Brian, look, I just wanted to apologize for what my mother did today. I can't believe how drunk she was. It didn't bother me one bit. My heart went out to you. I, nothing Lucille could say would change the way I feel about you. Too bad your mother doesn't share the same sentiment. Oh, don't worry about my mother. Yeah, well, she told me straight out that I was not suitable for you. Well, my mother isn't dating. I am. Do you mean that? I'll tell you what. You tend to your mother, and I will tend to mine. I didn't have time to call. Well, are you working on a case? Uh, this is a personal visit, Millie. I, I need your help. Well, what's the problem? Well, a friend of mine from church, his daughter got mixed up in a cult down in Atlanta. Cult? Oh, it was awful, Millie. She, she left her home and said her family was in league with the devil and all kinds of hogwash like that. Oh, that sounds like something that Gus Jessup's boy got into. Exactly, and that's why I wanted to help. See, last night I managed to steal her away from that place. What do you mean, steal? Well, that cult had her so brainwashed, she didn't, didn't want to leave. I had to kidnap her. I was hoping she could stay here while her father and I got to work on deprogramming her. Listen, Billy, I'm not going to lie to you. Now, what I did was against the law, but I'm fighting for her immortal soul. Hey! Get back here! Think you're going, huh? You got to help me, please. This man is crazy. He's kidnapped me. Call the police. All right. No, but All listen right. to me. I'll take good care of you. You don't understand. He's crazy. Please, ma'am, listen to me. Let me go. Somebody, please. Please, please, please. Crazy. Please let me go. Please. Jimmy, fine. Let go of me. 
is a real strong luck. Crazy. And she can not going to get away with this. Somebody help me! Daddy, you just go straight to your boys. We're so far in the woods, nobody could hear you. Please, don't do this. Don't you worry, child. In no time, we're going to have you right as rain. So how's business, Millie? Never better. Millie here raises snakes. That's pretty interesting work, don't you think? Season sneak peek of Savannah will continue. We now return to the new season sneak peek of Savannah. Good morning. Miss Richards, you're back. Yes. I was much more surprised than you are. What kept me going all those months in jail was the hope that this day would come. Really? You've kept the house beautifully while I've been gone. Thank you. And in honor of uh, Lucille's return here, I'm giving the staff the rest of the day off. That's very nice of you. I'm not getting fired, am I, because she's back. F fired? Heavens no. In fact, Edward's given you a 20% raise. <laughs> Actually, that's uh, Lucille's idea. Well, thank you. I'll see you both tomorrow. Oh, I certainly hope so. I do. I failed to make her feel good. The house isn't up to snuff. Have you noticed the stains around the sink? Screw the housekeeping. What do you want from me, Lucille? Money? Money. Believing money matters is what got me in this fix in the first place. I believed you were more important than I was because you came from money. I can't help it. I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. You made me keep it a secret we had a daughter all because of your almighty standing in this community. I told you to keep it a secret. I didn't tell you to go and kill somebody. I didn't mean to kill Travis. He had proof that you were Peyton's father. I just wanted him to pass out so I could get it. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but you still killed him, didn't you? That makes you no better than a common criminal. Well, what about you saying you weren't Peyton's father? If lying were against the law, you would be doing a life sentence. And by what right are you my judge and jury? This gun! This gun gives me a lot of rights. It's all a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Peyton was so upset by her poor mother's drinking in that restaurant that she misinterpreted what I said. Well, what did you say? Oh, who can remember? I was trying to distract Peyton. She was in such a state. So you do like her? Only person I don't cotton to at the moment is my gardener. Can't be trusted with my roses. He nearly burnt the roots off my giant yellows with fertilizer. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Glad? I'd have banned from this garden altogether. I meant I'm glad it was just a miscommunication with Peyton. You know, she's not like her mother. <laughs> well, I should hope not. <laughs> now, promise you'll bring Peyton by as soon as your father gets back in town so he can meet him. I will. Now, I have to be in court. Mm -hmm. Good luck with your roses. Mm -hmm. Give Peyton my best. Uh-oh. That looks like I picked a bad time to visit Savannah. Well, maybe I ought to come back some other year. I appreciate your hospitality. Oh. No wonder they call this the hostess city of the south. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> Peyton, you know, I'm, I'm beginning to think you don't like me. Oh, uh, well, nothing could be further from the truth, sugar. I'm just very busy right now. <laughs> then when can you find some time to talk to me? About what? My brother. I want to know more about him. Find out about his hobbies. His hobbies. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> 
You can tell me something. His favorite movies or books. What about the Centurion? The Centurion? What's that? You know, Centurion. Well, if you're talking about his car, Travis drove a BMW. Is his wife out of jail yet? Nope. Then when will she be home? Just as soon as her rich daddy bails her out. I'll stop by your place later, then. Something tells me it's pointless to say no. It is. Yeah, well, make sure you call before you come. There were enough drugs in that bag to charge me with trafficking. Do you have any idea what the bail is for trafficking? More money than I have, that's for sure. I will help you. My cell is filthy. I slept sitting up in my clothes all night, and I have no idea where my father is. I will raise the money for your bail. Well, that would be nice, since you're the reason I'm in this mess. I didn't know that there were drugs in that locker. I wish I had never set eyes on you. You have caused me nothing but grief since you came to Savannah. This is not my doing, Reese. Tell the police, not me. What? Well, tell the police that someone claimed to have photographs of your father. No. Get me out of here and do it fast, because I have a roommate who's in a lot more trouble than I am, and I need to help find her. Here we have some Ritz and gravy and fresh juice. Millie, Jack Buchanan is a very disturbed man. He's using me to get back at a policeman who was responsible for getting Jack kicked off the Savannah police force. Jack said you had a wild imagination. If you don't believe me, call the Savannah police. Well, of course they're going to say that he was kicked off the force. That's the story they cooked up so that Jack could go on doing his undercover work. He kidnapped me. And we're going to see to it that those cult members don't get you back. I wasn't in a cult. Oh, honey. I've seen people like you on the Jenny Jones show. You're in denial, dear. Where is Jack? Oh, he's shopping for some things to make you stay here cozier. Three cases of dynamite. You must have a whole lot of tree stumps to take care of. Ten acres worth. I'm gonna blow them into so many pieces, nobody will ever know they were there. The new season sneak peek of Savannah will continue. We now return to the new season sneak peek of Savannah. Peyton, but you're supposed to be at work. Yeah, well, I'm taking time off to help find Lane. So you do have a heart. Come oh, on, I wouldn't want my worst enemy to be kidnapped. Not even Edward Burton. Don't put me on the spot. And why are you at work? I'm posting bail for Reese. With what money? With uh, the tank from the casino last night. Oh, no, you are not using our money. It's Reese's money, too. That money belongs to our partnership. And the partnership is loaning it to Reese. Her daddy carries that much in pocket change. Why don't you wait and let him bail her out? No one knows where he is. Oh, trust me, he will show up to bail out his little princess. We cannot leave Reese in jail. It's bad publicity. It is worse publicity if we bail her out. We will all look like crooks. So you would just let her rot in jail. So much for your having a heart. It is better heartless than penniless. Now, you take that money straight to the bank. Did you know that little veins pop out on your forehead when you get upset? Aren't you tired of holding that? I wish I had bought a lot of marble. I can't believe anybody would even sell you a gun. And your picture was only in a newspaper across the state. Oh, I couldn't believe it either, but the gun shop owner, he just welcomed me like I was a celebrity. Now, what is this country coming to? Yeah. You know, you shoot me loose, you're going to go to jail for the rest of your life. It'd be worth it to get back at you. Oh, now, honey. 
Honey, you have to start taking responsibility for your own life. Now, I never made you do anything. You want to shoot someone? You shoot the one responsible for all your griefs. You shoot yourself. I guess I do share some of the blame. Yeah, and you know no one in this town's ever going to forget what you did. I am so sick of everything. Maybe I should kill myself. Well, you're going to end all your troubles in just one second. Go ahead. Man. <laughs> no, I, I was just kidding. I was kidding, I swear. No, I was, I swear. I'm sorry, Lucy. I'm sorry. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean those things I said. I was just angry at you now. Edward, too little, too late. I mean, you kept me here all this time and no bullets in the damn gun? Well, I had to put one in so you take me seriously, but I didn't dare put two in. Knowing how arrogant you are, I was afraid I might be tempted. You weren't planning to kill me? I just wanted to hear you say you were sorry, but my, oh, my, you are a stubborn cuss. No, you're not putting an end to it. I'm going to have you arrested for this. You're going to spend the next 40 years of your life behind bars. You paid a witness at my trial. If I tell the district attorney, how much jail time do you think you'll spend for obstructing justice? Let's just say we're even. Leave it at that. WDWS News. Yes, I sent a photo of Lane McKenzie to your news director, which he ran on the early news, but I was hoping that uh, he would run it on the evening broadcast as well. Oh, great. Yes, thank you. I'm home. Hey, did your father finally bail you out of jail? No, Tom did. Oh. Well, I told him to use every last penny that we had to get you out. I don't even know if we had enough. Oh, you're so sweet. Well, you're my sister. I'm not going to let you rot in jail. Shoot, I'd sell the riverboat if I had to. I know you would. Any word on Lane? No. Now, let's get to work. We can start a reward fund for information leading to her return. Now, I bet the Savannah Dispatch would help us get that going. Oh, yeah, I'll get it. Um, do you remember her editor's name? Hi. I told you to call first. Uh. That's Jack's call, right? Well, couldn't get far walking. I'll check reports of vehicles stolen from this area, all right? Where are you? Hey. Hi. Uh from the Helm School of Dentistry. My boss sent me over to pick up an indigent. Uh, we're a new account. Right, you called. I got the paperwork. I guess doing? it's better to sell a body for research than it is to have to bury one, huh? <laughs> I'd rather sell one any day of the week. You know, it costs us money to bury those indigents. You know, I can, uh, I can pay you in cash if you want. That way you don't even have to report it. Great. Uh, listen, if you ever need a fresh body, let me know. All right. I'll go get this one. I'm sorry, I fainted, but it's like looking at a ghost. He's flesh and blood, all right. How did you find out you had a brother? Well, a shipmate of mine showed me a paper from his hometown, Savannah. There was an article about this banker named Travis Peterson. He had a picture of him. 
And I took one look and I said, damn, that's me. Tell me you fainted and I'll feel better. <laughs> no. But when my ship reached port, I flew straight home. I showed my parents the picture. I knew I was adopted, but figured they hadn't told me everything. Sure enough, they said I had a brother. It turns out they couldn't afford to adopt us both, so he went to another family. Did Travis know he was adopted? Not till I tracked him down last year. But we only had a few hours to talk. I had the ship out. He never told me about you. Travis was a secretive sort of guy. Did Travis ever mention a centurion? Why do you keep asking that? What's a centurion? Beats me. Last night, two goons jumped me thinking I was Travis. And they wanted this centurion, whatever that is. And they're ready to kill me to get it. I don't remember Travis ever using the word. Then it didn't have anything to do with his murder? No. Well, how can you be so sure? Because my mother killed Travis. Your mother? Peyton. It's complicated. Her mother killed him and you let her live here? Peyton didn't do it. Look, if you want trouble, we've got our hands full. Thank you. Well, I came here to find out about my brother. What I learned about his friends makes me feel awfully damn sorry for him. Where is things? I didn't keep anything. Are well, you not the sentimental type? Not when it comes to Travis. Is there anything else you want? Not from you. Then don't let us keep you. The new season sneak peek of Savannah will continue. We now return to the new season sneak peek of Savannah.
unit, the 1988 Chevy Capri station wagon, Florida license plate number Nancy 3548 X-ray, reported stolen last night at 3671 Townley Road, has been spotted at Myers Lake. 10-4. Townley Road is a quarter mile from where we found Jack Buchanan's car. Now, why does Myers Lake sound so familiar, huh? Jack, you have a fishing cabin there. Let's go. matches. <sighs> I appreciate your clearing your schedule to see me on such short notice. I know I can trust you from past business dealings. I need information on someone well known to you. Well known to the entire community lately, thanks to a shameless effort to sully the good name of the Burton family. I am speaking, of course, of Peyton Richards. The woman is a nightmare. And now she's set her sights on my family. I would be most grateful for anything that you can do to help me. The pleasure will be all mine. In the States, the centurion was buried for safekeeping on the McGregor plantation and remained the prize of the McGregor collection until recently when it was st stolen from a man in Savannah. That's it. That is it. If it's a kidnapping, shouldn't someone have received a ransom demand by now? You'd think so. The fish and all the commotion I forgot about them. Did you feed them? No. Look, no one's floating. They're fine. I don't know why you decided to keep Travis's old fish. What am I supposed to do? Flush him down the toilet? Mm -hmm. Could give him a nick. I'm sure he would love something from his dearly departed brother. Oh, I'm sure that's just what he had in mind. Goldfish in a nasty old tank. Somewhere. He might still be here. Hey, look, there's supposed to be a dock around here somewhere. I'll check over there, right? All right. You be careful. Yeah, you too. dead friend. Thank you. Poor crazy Jack, the cops will say. Tried to make himself a bomb. Blew himself away. Yes, sir. There ain't gonna be enough of you left for anybody to prove it wasn't me. I'll be on my way to Cabo San
we're gonna have company. That's right, Snitch. Come on up and get what's coming to you. Haven't you ever seen a detonator before? Where's Lane? That's a bad feeling, isn't it? Not knowing if you're ever gonna see a loved one again. Where is she? She's inside with about 20 pounds of explosives wrapped around her. Now, you put your gun down real slow, and you kick it away. Your girlfriend's gonna blow through that ceiling in so many pieces, you're gonna come down like confetti in a ticker tape parade. Put it down. Now I'm going to borrow your car. When I'm out of range, this remote won't work. So I'm going to have to set it off now. Hey! I'm coming! Hold on! The new season sneak peek of Savannah will continue. You've been watching the season premiere of Aaron Spelling Savannah. The series continues on Wednesday night, September 18th at 10, here on Chicago's very own WGN.